Hey guys, Levy Freeman here, and today we are playing our uh, Kaiser Redux campaign here again as New England. Uh, so last episode we finished off, I think it was like the Constitutional Republic or whatever, in the CSA. Like a second, second American Civil War is like pretty fucked up in this mod. And you have like this guy over here who's like not even Huey Long. And you got this guy in the Pacific States who hates jazz. So, I don't know, whatever, that's pretty weird. And this is also like they have the wrong flag for the PSA. And the AUS. It's like it's pretty fucked up playing the KR Civil War. But uh, so we're gonna go back over here into our construction tab and we're just gonna repair all this like broken fucked up shit that we have. Uh, it's not good to have all this broken infrastructure. It's gonna screw up your unit speed and your supplies and like all this other stuff. So we better make sure we repair this right quick. Uh, I also noticed like I thought I was like pumped up for that 30% recruitable population, but in fact turns out that that just counters off the uh uh, where is it? It's obnoxious, like, obnoxiously large focus tree. But at least it's not hidden. Uh, there's this one over here which gives us a negative 30% recruitable pop. So it's like, you know, we're going to want to probably do this, then grab this stuff over here, then do this, then do this, so that like, you can cancel this out before you lose all of your population, probably. And uh, then I guess we'll have this uh, plus 15% stability, plus 15% war support. We're already at 100. That's great, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I think maybe this focus tree wasn't exactly the best planned out. You seem to wind up with uh, extraneous stability and war support by like quite a bit. But that's either here nor there nor anywhere, I guess. So like we got a few more divisions over here that we can drop out, and we just deploy these guys. And we are missing some support equipment. It says. To the tune of 500, 500 of this shit. So we'll build some more, I guess. Throw some more on tanks over here. That's probably fine. Uh, but half of you guys, maybe a little less than half of you guys, uh, I can go into this guy's army. You can go into this guy's army. And we'll have shit. Come on. Why can't I select two to be like I don't know? I'm, like, I'm fucking brain dead today. I just want to select two of these guys. There you go. And the rest of these guys can give them like I don't know. This sure this guy over here. Congratulations, buddy. You're a general now. We'll throw them on the AUS border. And I think we'll go and just try and capitulate these fools. And there's like a nice plain tile for us to attack into, like right over here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and abuse that plain tile. Let everyone get into position and then we will declare war. The day of drawn daggers. For long, Lovecraft has had to share his power and he pr be propped up by the most extreme Anglo files in New England. However, the days where Lovecraft is a puppet of elites is over. The loyal coalition and organization that Lovecraft used to belong to has wielded the majority of power in New England and have ruled alongside Lovecraft ever since the Providence Circle took power. Like Lovecraft, their popularity can, or came from the hatred of outsiders, mostly Irish Catholics. But instead of the loyal coalition being propped up by proud pure wasps, they were propped up by the Asters and Vanderbilts, at least that will stop at nothing for a quick buck, and that includes stepping on this nation's loyal citizens. They fully expected that Lovecraft would never take action against them, that he would remain timid and stay in place. Did they know how he hated them, maybe? But Lovecraft was no concern to them. He would never challenge their power. That is what they thought, and they thought wrong. Despite Lovecraft's agoraphobia, paranoia, and fear, being in practical charge of a large state has changed him. He was no puppet, and the time to finally get rid of the elites was here. The big businessmen who have ruled New England for so long would do so no longer. The purge began at 11 o'clock when loyal divisions of the Providence Guard fanned into the streets of Boston, dragging so-called enemies of purity from their homes and offices and some into Delta Green Black sites. There, anything awaits them, and none of it can possibly be good. Even though some tried to resist, Lovecraft's grip on the nation had become too strong. The populace, the military, and the bureaucracy were all loyal to him and him alone, something that the elites weren't counting on. By the end of the night, names were carefully crossed off lists as one by one Lovecraft's enemies were killed, arrested, or somehow were condemned to a fate even worse. The Providence for New England. Uh, 
I guess get ourselves some plantings. Why are we not getting plantings? Go. There we goes. Right, what should we get here? Let's go for our next dispersed industry. We can do another tank division too. Research. We have 200% bonus, let's just go ahead and get modern tank now then. It looks like we have like nothing really to even defend with. It's our garrison template anyways. RCMP grenade air brigade. Hmm. Let's uh, not use our support equipment on our garrison troops. We have a shortage for our field troops. Not that that looks like it changed much of anything, anyways. All right, I think it's time. It's time to crush these uh, these Union bastards. Actually, get our Air Force to come help us out too. Even though we don't have really good coverage at all. Where's their capital at? New Orleans. Fallen. So I just activate this battle plan, make sure these guys don't get to move at all. We should be able to uh, capitulate them readily here. The crusade against syndicalism. Cool. I love Kraft, the magician that he is. Maybe we can get him to cast a Cindy Be Gone spell. That'd be nice, right? have to deal with the PSA holes. Probably don't need the uh, Canadian border. Alright, next Natty Focus, we'll do into the Aritu Eldritch Signs first. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, 
Uh, see, there's a desert tile over here. Like maybe we can abuse that. And get in this way. All right, Lovecraft will actually save America soon. It'll be okay. You guys don't have to be scared. So we'll go up to five speed. The boys get in the position here. We used to have so much broken shit. Ready, uh, we need we need manpower. Also, maybe we should go to work on me. Yeah, let's uh, drop down to work on me. I forgot to switch your tank over. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Last hundred political power. Yes, we won't be able to trade with them soon. Let's trade with, I don't know, the Germans again, I guess. Here, consumer goods factories. So I maybe cancel this land deployment if we have no manpower for it. It's time. These guys like, don't even have enough uh, divisions to actually uh, guard their borders. 
we can probably just take all the victory points like we did to the AUS. Fresno and San Fran. Let's to activate this order there too to uh, just make sure we keep these guys pinned down. Someone fell ill. guys off there. guys out. Move out. Keep that guy in Seattle, make sure we don't take that back, I guess. Okay, so I guess these guys are also in the third international now. So we'll have to kill Mexico as like a consolation to you as well, I guess. Well, that's fine. Don't matter. So the control is 19% of his victory points. That's supposed to capitulate at 20%. Okay, great. side that's usually a good place to attack Mexico from. So we'll uh, go ahead and get our guys into position there. I 
America is united. Long last, America has been united. We stretch once again from sea to shining sea. The traitors to the country have been destroyed, and the stars and stripes now fly proudly from coast to coast, doing that liberty is secured for all. We're now the sovereign order of America. Oh, that's a nice little flag change there. That's cool, I guess. To the shadows. Uh, let's go for the. Hmm. We don't really need all this stuff though, but I would like to finish this tree. We'll purge the impure. I guess Mexico is not really a consolation prize, it's more I guess like a bonus prize. Considering that we did also kill a PSA, which is I guess you know what we were going for. Greens are also like pretty similar. It's uh, a little bit difficult to try and tell which troops are mine and which troops are Mexico's. Get a phoenix to those guys. They are getting cut off here. So I get these. Let's get this guy on rails. Just don't want to get uh, 
You know, we get cut off the medium tank division, that would be unfortunate. Unfortunately, the terrain in Mexico is like also pretty bullshit, isn't it? Get these guys out of there. Sell some air over that pocket. Got Poncho Villa. Still not even close to capitulation. Fair enough. have to take more of the victory points. No troops on this tile. Let's take that for free. Let's take him Mexico City. That's pretty good. Pushing these guys. here. Let's go. It's like this shit. Like that's bullshit. The guy should just be dead. No, I want you to go over here and attack this way. And you guys attack there. Oh, 
Heard the impure. Guys, go over that way, I guess. Yes, Mexico's got to be dead soon, right? These guys are gonna have a really rough time over here, aren't they? Kill those guys over here. Kill those guys over there. It looks like we're already uh. Fire brigades. The next maintenance company, I guess. We'll get the uh, backhand blow. Backhand, motherfucker. Team tank at number three. Tungsten from Peru, sure. How much mech do we have right now? 416. How much mech do we need for... We don't have a mech version yet. We'll do that. Delete that template. No, we don't have enough experience for that yet. That's fine. So we'll have to put that off. I say it's like 250. Mechanized, yeah, it's 50 per battalion, so it's 250. 250 mech. Guys, go over there. So we're missing a little bit of artillery. Swap those over to rifles. I'll just swap everybody over to rifles divisions. Should sort us out. Oh, 
probably is gonna lower our manpower strength a little bit though. I mean, obviously it would. Uh, we don't need those tanks over here. Or, that's why. That's alright, they won't have to close much longer. Some of those guys over here. Okay, converting is probably a little bit cheaper. Do the New English Heritage, I guess. Keep pressure on here. I guess I could have, like walk down to a port and saved his ass like forever ago. For whatever reason he opted not to. We lost 157,000 guys. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. It's a lot of Iberian Federation guys down here. And we have indeed uh, secured a decent number of kills on those guys. Central America, we're not at war with them yet. But we might be. Oh, attack from over on this side of the river, get better result. Build ourselves up some military factories. Well, I guess like we probably don't get cores on any of this land. I guess is a problem. Uh, no, we do. We do, get, we do get these. We don't have to actually take a focus. Like that's pretty good. Let's rebuild the uh, Pacific, the South Atlantic states. We rebuild first. We have like all the PP in the world too to do this with.
All right, so it looks like we were able to successfully win the American Civil War and take out the perfidious Mexicans. Bunch of jerks. So I guess the wasps will have more Lebensraum south of the border. Okay, this is Russia has just declared war on the Germans. Uh, we are going to have to send our tanks overseas, like, probably we do actually need some destroyers. Probably have maybe a bit too many subs anyways. Like, I, I did check, we have like, hundreds of these things. Unfortunately, they're not great subs either. Uh, we do have this guy over here. Crisis Magician. Safety first. Seems to be quite a bit better than Chief Engineer. We'll go with this guy. No, we'll go with the Green Skull this time for like Cthulhu or some shit. One, two, three. I guess we'll do that. Go with like 20 wides, I guess. Alright, they're not really wide, but look, they're 20 subs per pack. Go like so. Alright, so we have all of our subs ready to go. And I'm sure Britain is probably, uh... Where do we have... I guess we have access to everywhere? I guess that would make sense. We do have lots of naval bases in the Entente. It's, uh... Well, I'll try that and see if we can get ourselves some convoy interdiction. I think uh, we can let's uh, cut it out with the uh, these tanks over here now. And those are cool and all. Let's just get ourselves maybe some more mechanized and medium tanks. Rubber. We can get rubber from the integralists. Sure, I'm down for that. Uh, so we're Italian Federation. Whose team are these guys on? Yes, yeah, so that's the Pope. Oof. So it looks like, uh, do we have anyone in their faction over here? This. And they have no border with the third. Well, we have the Syndicalist Intermarum. They're in a faction with the. Uh... No, they're not. They're also not at war with us, I don't think. Fuck! I didn't build Amtraks, it went for mech. Oh, uh, geez. So that, I guess we'll have to do a. Uh... 
Do some sort of naval invasion, I guess. I don't know. That's frustrating. As we still have Donnell Adriabund. We are at war with. We're at war with Donnie Adriabund. Why are we at war with Donnie Adriabund? How is this? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Hmm. We have no naval supremacy around this shit either, so fuck. Fuck! Alright, uh, Marines. Probably need a Marines template then. Go 14 4 Marines, I guess. Not as good as an Amtrak unit, but you know, it is, uh. We don't have Amtraks, so it is, you know, it's the best we can do with the, uh, you know, it's the best tool that we have. Uh, that's probably good enough. Engineers. Ugh. We have no manpower. I mean, we should get manpower soon, though. We're rebuilding, right? Yes. All right, so we're gonna have to sort ourselves out for a little bit. Let's do the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant supremacy. Should we go for Iberia, maybe? Probably not a bad spot to land. We are catching some subs. Or, uh, convoys, I mean. Looks like we're also going to war with Venezuela. We can probably land in France, like, kind of okay. Like, these guys, I guess, blue, that'll be our, I guess, force over there. Send these guys overseas. You saw some extra guns. I mean, we're gonna run out of guns eventually if we do not. Japan and Russia, it's like it's like a it's, like, it's a fucking gangbang over here, isn't it? enough experience to uh, to do this over here we're getting this army from our XP from I think we have an expert we have a Raj authority that's so 
will be 85% hard. Hard as fuck. We do not have enough mechanized for that yet. Answer expert. Right, we got Navy Department. Uh, what else should we get over here? Yeah, cryptology department's probably fine. Need to hurry up and reconstruct though. You're out of manpowers. Sure, we'll do that. If we have troops, get there, okay? Like now we immediately need to do Spartan Nation, otherwise we're gonna have absolutely no manpower. Venezuela, or I guess our allies have anyways. So I'm gonna come over here to Algeria. We're doing some naval bombing in the med. Base control. Uh, those are all kinds of shit. I guess we go for production cost and fighter. See how much equipment have we stolen? Not a whole lot. So this here, uh, a decent amount. Maybe start upgrading our sub. Oh, look, I mean, they seem to be doing okay with the convoy interdiction. Start decrypting, I guess. It's shipping away that their entrenchment and shit. We have this guy over here. Go with that, I guess. Be our white shield. We'll throw our destroyers onto there. So I'm not attrition ourselves if we don't have to. Send these guys over to this other supply zone. Hopefully that will sort us out. Almost.
almost. And these guys over there too. I guess we just cored something over there and we got all this steel and shit. Uh, let's see, where are the resources that we're going to need? Uh, some steel would be nice. You know America's probably got like, a lot of steel somewhere. Obviously the steel belt. Obviously the steel isn't the fucking steel belt, isn't it? That's why it's called the steel belt. Jeez, I'm retarded. So that does sort out of supply. Alright, so that should hopefully fix our manpower. We'll do the king in yellow. Like, the stuff doesn't really matter. I should probably be doing, like, I don't know, navy or something else focuses, but. Solves our destroyer fleet. Sport equipment now. We got, we got lots. Well, not like really a whole lot actually. Additional rating to help out a little bit, I guess. Have enough task forces for that. Fortunately, it does look like they are garrisoned properly. Ain't that a bitch. Uh, I don't think I have, we don't have any closer air bases. Look, I cannot actually help out there. Where is our fourth tank unit? All the way over there, I guess. Fair enough. So we're still moving into place. We got backhand blow. Get the modern blitzkrieg. Let's get ourselves some more military factories. A 
you know, that's like actually completely, that's actually pretty dumb to pick, so we're not, we're just not going to do that. We don't need it at all, it gives us no benefit. Uh, steel mills would be okay, I guess. I could do navy. Yes, we have enough naval supremacy to do invasions, we just don't have the landing here yet. We actually have an invader too. This will be a little bit boring for a while. Get our shit ready. Well, looks like Germany's getting pushed back. That's not good. It's not a good sign. I don't know if we have enough guys over here. But, like, we don't have like a whole lot of guys to uh, to spare in general. have lots of units looks like they're guarding with so we will have to actually take a port I think uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult to uh, or maybe we should line it up to when the AI is invading then we can like also invade at a separate spot and hopefully they'll be distracted we can also infiltrate their army maybe Let's get the intel advantage on them. Guess we can start to make fighters, I guess, spam fighters. It's probably fine. the Rocky or uh, Pacific Coast. Seems like probably not a bad idea. Not a bad spot to pick. Get the Navy. Let's maybe go for the Marine Corps. Send these guys over. I think we actually have an invader too already. John F. Kennedy. Really? John F. Kennedy. Oh, and we get uh, this guy over here, the key in yellow. What guy? 
just activate this and see if they are distractive enough that we can actually make a landing here. Maybe they were dumb enough to move their guys off their ports. It's possible. Will we get what? Well, yep, okay, it looks like we do. Guys, there. It's like where this gets dangerous. We've kind of committed to this landing, so hopefully, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to make it work here. Hope we don't get convoy raided. Well, I guess we do have, uh... We do have some destroyers. Capital in Barcelona, maybe. Uh, research for our fighter tech. Yeah, T forty war off. Whatever, doesn't really matter. See if the AI decides to like, actually show up and help us. I mean, that would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? 
I mean, I'm not holding my breath for it. I mean, they usually don't, but uh, it'd be nice if we uh, got a little bit of help on the front line. Like that. Let's maybe bring another. Uh, Want to sign some more guys over here? I don't know. Might need those guys. Let's send them over. those guys it looks like France on the landing that's nice go for excavation tech maybe Asians there. Tasty. Can never be Portugal. Hopefully the Iberians decide they've had enough soon. So it's a fat cap.
And so I don't know, I'm definitely uh I'm definitely getting mileage out of these uh, light tanks just to like drive around and be annoying and, and seize ground and just I'm pretty okay for that, although I don't know. I, I definitely do like the breakthrough potential of the 40 with uh, medium tank, so like they just smash through everything pretty uh, pretty fast and convincingly. I'm not sure if like if we're gonna make the 20 width like slide by cheap templates and you're gonna make medium tanks anyways, it's probably easier on your production to use a medium tank template for it. Oh look, we have enough for like another two of these. Might as well. We have also like enough for like a bunch more medium tanks too. We need some more switch templates. Like our main problem right now is just our manpower. Uh, we'll go for the U.S. Marine Corps, I guess. guys up to Madrid. Maybe Reich's Pact is doing some invasions or something. Those guys seem to be fighting. Kill these guys there.
take that title to support anyways. Situates. That's wonderful. Looks like we got the land too, so that's pretty sick. guys though. AOG has capitulated. AOG, I haven't seen that. I haven't heard that in a while. It's, uh, it's an old, uh, old faction. Been dead for like a year, but I guess uh, Kaiser Redux bringing it back. Coming on to be peace deal. Austria intervenes in the second wild Krieg. I, oh shit. Does this mean we're at war with Germany now? Because we are we're at war with Donnie Adrian. That could be a problem. Shite. I guess they fight the French and also the uh, Canadians. What the fuck is this?
too many divisions in one tile there. That's important to power. Do a little bit of rebuilding there, I guess. It seems to like not be getting uh, all that much manpower. After coring these places, it's a little bit disappointing. So we are at war with the Germans now. No. So I guess in this game they don't combine factions like they do in regular guys of Reich. So 14 4 marine units, like that unit's gonna go right. Away. Let's just uh, take some free tiles. Those guys saw this out there.
Should have more of those uh, over there. Those guys over this way. Were the Greeks on our seat? Our side? I don't think so. They were in luck. Were they? Not sure. Let's go. We're close to Paris. We haven't taken it yet. Paris only has level three land for its on this time. That's uh that's nice. We have some free kills over here so we can, uh, I guess, take these guys out. For whatever reason, the French color is very similar, uh, I guess, in this mod to the the Swiss color. It must be pretty hard on people who have like side issues or like colorblind or stuff to like actually play this game. Paris. It's like cavalry should be easy prey though.
Okay, they left Paris open. Cool. I'll take I'll take that. I'll take a free Paris. Discount Paris. Oh, cool story. They decided to capitulate. I guess Germany got that land. So I guess like all is quiet on this front over here. I don't know if it's worth even spam planes at this point. It's maybe a little more. We got, we got 15 of the tanks. Like I don't know. It's we can build some of the some of this light stuff. I guess I mean, we have like a pretty stupid amount of military factories. I guess. Searches. Let's get the modern anti-air. I guess we might we might need, might conceivably need that. I suppose. So we see a land wasser schlepper. He'll give. Uh, uh oh, my production is gonna get fucked up now. Yep. Trade aluminum with Frank Reich, I guess. Uh, probably don't want to trade with the Dominion of Alaska. Those guys are dicks. We left our union. Empire, okay, so enemies, Uruguay, Madras, Prince Fed, Baharadia, Commune. Uh, I guess so I guess we're going to war with a bunch of people. Is, you know, I guess that's fine. Uh, do we have a naval superiority against Britain? I mean, we do have this over here. We could try and do a... Well, on the channel, probably not. We do have superiority over here. I guess that's our invasion road that we're taking. Ah, uh, wonderful. Like, how do I even invade to, like, get that over there, though? If I try to land in Glasgow or something. It still cuts the channel, doesn't it? Still cuts the channel, doesn't it? Fuck. Uh, my call is doing nothing useful. Sure, urban combat training. That seems like not a bad, uh, not a bad thing to have. Oh, jeez. Raj authority looking a little bit weak. a little bit weak and I don't think I can be bothered to go over there and try and like save their ass and deal with Union Britain at the same time. Ok, 
Okay, that doesn't go across the channel, so we can like go for that order. Some down over there. How many? We should have like a bunch of fighters, I think, right? We've been making fighters for, I guess, not that long. Uh, I should have researched. Uh, we got, well, we have a research coming up, anyways. I guess I should have researched the uh, extra transports. Hopefully our Anton friends will be able to like win against the uh Great, so we're still infiltrating the Iberian Federation's army and they're already dead, so this is like a waste of our time. Well, Oh well, it's almost done at least. Alright, we got the Warhawk. Should also probably be making modern tanks, shouldn't I? Yeah, you know, we'll leave uh, 10 factories on medium and we'll put you guys in modern tank. We don't need to trade for tungsten anymore. Do need chrome. Which you can get from our friends, the Cubans, I guess. I don't know if they're actually our friends or not. Is South Africa on our team? No. Get those guys out of there. Then we'll cancel our access. Looks like we're hitting some stuff over there. We got a bunch of bombers, I guess. Do you have any more naval bombers? We have a bunch of strap bombers. Got a carrier naval bombers. You know what? Naval bomber is a naval bomber at the end of the day, isn't it? Carrier cast, close air support. Uh, you know, we got like another another uh, another wing of these devastators over here. Give her, I guess. Oh, 
Ooh, uh, fighters though. Fighter, fighter, fighter. Any more bombers? Now, let's see how many of these we have. Let's see how many fighters we have too. Much, huh? Mission efficiency is like a little bit dog shit there, though. I should make a variant for their modern tank, obviously. for these guys here to plan. Uh, what I should have done if I was smart is put the guys on the naval invasion order over here. And then draw on the order with this guy and use his invasion plans like it went faster, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Seems to be fine. So continue rebuilding. Where is our manpower, though? I guess we just build planes at this point. Or you know, like maybe we have to go up to service even. Eligible core population 124 million. That seems pretty low. I don't know. Maybe the Civil War did go on for a while. Like maybe a bunch of our guys just got uh, shredded. See if these guys are able to get anything done.
I was afraid they intercepted our convoys there, but in fact it was us who were going after their convoys. Which I guess is fair enough. There's no way this port isn't guarded, right? Like, yeah, they got something. They gotta have something. But will they have enough? I guess that's the question, isn't it? Not allowed to build a port. Oh, cause it went, it went to fucking Canada. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. That's a problem. Emphasis. I mean, like none of that stuff is like actually useful at this point. Uh, fuck. Let's just go on. I don't know. We'll finish off the tree. Maybe we'll get an event or something. Dude, the nation of madness. No, not John F. Kennedy. He was wounded. I thought that guy was gonna live forever. What a what an upset. So uh, link up with our Canadian comrades over here. Yes, oh, we got the Landwasser Schlepper. That's a good one to have. We can get rubbers from somewhere though, we can get rubbers from Dutch Ost Asian. Union of Britain looks like they're about to be uh, pretty dead soon, so that's great. It's great for us.
King Edward abdicates it. We were so close. Why would King Edward do that? Now these people are a bunch of ingrates. They don't respect their king. Time to build more shit, I guess. Uh, maybe we should be building, I don't know, we could have got synthetic refineries and built that, I guess. It's getting a little bit silly. We have all the industry in the world, but like zero manpower.